If you don't read this book, you are the worst human ever. Okay, not really, but come on! An alternate history, steampunk paranormal, seafaring, treasure hunting adventure? An adventure that opens with our gal blowing a dude's brain meat across the wall. You need this book. Yasmeen is a fearsome pirate queen on a mission to avenge her murdered crew. This chick can kick ass and she ain't got no time for the ass's names. I was bred to be fast and strong. I was bred to be quiet, and I was bred to kill. You want to protect me, but in truth, I will protect you. It was what I was made for. You guys can't see it, but I am fangirling really hard right now. You can't see it because of people pants. Saying I like Yasmeen is like saying the earth has some peeps on it. I fucking love her. She murders without thinking, but gives her crew life and medical insurance. You know, like the opposite of what America does. Again, I fucking love her. I honestly don't think I've ever read a heroine like her before. Yasmeen teams up with Archimedes a beta-tastic treasure hunter, for her revenge plotting. Aside from having the best hero name ever, dude falls for Yasmeen from jump. But our darling don't care. She's too busy being a goddess. I could kiss you. I'll bear my ass for your lips later. <laughs> See? She's funny and sassy and witty and a hero. Like, Yasmeen saves Archimedes from 40 zombies using nothing but a brass suit and two machetes. Holy crap! Oh yeah, did I mention that this book is zombie land? Our OTP traips all over the world hunting for loot and axe murdering monsters. And the whole time our hero is rocking epic hard eyes for Yasmeen. The whole time. Ark legit loves the fact that Yasmeen is more powerful than him. Like really, really, really loves it. I would like to stand behind you, not above you, not below you, to back you up should you ever need it. Oh boy. Never in my time have I needed this fan more. <laughs> this hero is totally cool with an in-charge heroine, and I am so damn here for that. Boy even suggests that Yasmeen humiliate him in front of her crew just so she can maintain their respect. Wow. If that ain't the most heroic deed ever that a hero has ever heroically done, I, I challenge you to find a better one. He admires her strength and her wits, and he plays no macho man games. Ark doesn't know if Dude X is Yasmin's lover or her friend, and he don't care. No hissy fits, no tirades, just him being in love. I am so smitten with his smittenness. He tells our girl straight up that he is gonna fall in love with her, so you would think there's gonna be no sexual tension. Well, you'd be wrong, bucko. For Ark insists on a no-kiss policy until he is absolutely in love with her. I will not even kiss you until my heart is so full of longing that I cannot help myself. And if you initiate a kiss, I will consider that a sign you have fallen madly in love with me, too. Nah. Blessings upon his beard. You pair his lovey-dovey butt with their chemistry and, um, that bath scene. Guys, I swooned into infinity and beyond, and I'm not exaggerating. So many fangirl feels. That scene did cue my friends. Basically, it was hot. And I was hot, and the room was hot. Mm-hmm. 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 Did I mention it was hot? But despite my fangirling, I do have some itty-bitty grumps of complaint. The book's expansive universe and plot doesn't leave much room for character stuff. Alas, sometimes the world building gets, well, it confusing, because there's a lot of it. Yes, we get giant steam-powered robot mech horses with ass-blasting cannons. We get epic zombie hordes and seafaring adventures, and all of that was cool and fun. It, it really was. But the consequence is that the romance feels more like a background element. Don't doubt you will buy this OTP and their emotional beats. Oh boy, those emotional beats. Archimedes stared up at the ceiling, finally visible in the pre-dawn light through the porthole, and tried to think of anything. 
anything that had been more exciting, more dangerous, more incredible than Yasmin unleashing herself upon him. There was nothing. She'd probably ruined him for treasure hunts. Zombies wouldn't even raise his pulse. Hell, meeting Leonardo da Vinci in heaven, surrounded by nude singing virgins and endless hits of opium couldn't compare to the bliss of one kiss. Sir, you hero-tastic hero. I don't think there are any words or sounds that I can make that can encapsulate, capsule, and illustrate, demonstrate my feelings. I can't even do words to explain it. So you see, there's feels. There are. They're just kind of fleeting. And so are the sex scenes. They're honestly a bit rushed, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Those moments kind of fit the story because it was so immersive. At the end of the day, if you want a book that you can sink your teeth into, this is it. This author knows her shit when it comes to external conflict. While I prefer internal conflict, Brooke gave her characters such emotional depth that I was hooked. Yes, there's running, gunning, blasting zombies, but there is also a real weight to her people. A debt has more weight than the coin that pays it. Dude! Can we just all agree that Mel Jean Brooke kicks butt at words? This woman gets you deep inside a character's personality like I get deep inside a bag of chips. If I did rankings or stars or thumbs up, Heart of Steel would get all of them. It kicks ass with a cool heroine and it's so here for her hero made the book absolute crack. I need more. It's really surprising that Mel G was able to make this book work for me. Cause it's like hella hella external conflict and you all know my thoughts about the outside bang bang shoot them up. Don't think those words made logical sense. Point is, is that I actually enjoyed it. When an author can make me care about battle scenes and fight moments, you bet your ass that author is talented. I just realized that glass on plastic makes noise. So if this was distracting to the video, I'm very, very sorry. I should really plan out my wardrobes better than I do, but that that's never gonna happen. Maybe this video was too fangirly and now that I'm thinking about how I filmed it, it might have been too fangirly. But I don't care guys. It deserves all of my obnoxious weirdness. God damn, I love Bell Jean. I think I need to go before I get any more weird on the woman. Nobody does weird like me.